Today we are here at Bangkok's International Airport where we're spending the next 20 hours in Cathay Pacific economy. Because we're heading home for two days. Let's go. Although this whole journey is in economy class, luckily because of my British Airways status, we get business class check-in, business class lounges, and business class boarding onto the planes. Also, our business class baggage allowance, so we didn't have to pay for our bags on the plane, which is good when you're traveling on a budget. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How many packages? We're just checking just now, and once we arrive in London with Cathay Pacific, we booked a separate flight with British Airways up to Aberdeen to get home, and we're just hopefully just now been able to check our bags all the way through. Even though it's on a different ticket, because it's all one world, the check-in agent thinks he's going to be able to check our bags all the way through. If he can, that would be mighty handy, because it gives us a little bit extra time in London. Cathay Pacific getting high marks already. Their staff have managed to check our bags all the way through. Perfect, thank, thank you so you, thank much. You so much. Thank, thank you. you. We are through security. We are through security and passport control. It took a bit longer than we thought, it was about half an hour, but now we're heading straight to the Cathay Pacific Lounge. Because of our whole tight budget travel situation, we haven't eaten anything today because we knew we'd be getting into the lounge and getting food on the plane, so we've got a bit of a feast. That's our time in the lounge done, and we're now going to head to the plane and go to Hong Kong. Quick update here. A few weeks ago, we booked seats for these two flights, mainly for the 14 and a half hour one from Hong Kong over to London. But when we checked in today, we'd been allocated different seats from the ones we booked, like middle seats, just not very good. So when we got to the lounge, we spoke to the customer service agent, and they went away about 20 minutes later. They came back to us and they have moved us to a three by the window with a blocked seat in the middle, hopefully. They said they're going to try their best to block it out, so fingers crossed it'll be blocked out, and we'll have loads of space, but we'll find out later in the video. Pacific A330 for the next three, three and a bit hours over to Hong Kong. Even though this was only a three hour flight, shortly after takeoff, we were offered a complimentary meal. I decided for the pork and rice option, which also came with a bit of pretty stale bread, some fruit and a haagen ice cream. I went for the chicken noodles, which came with the same sides. Both these meals were of really high quality, especially considering the length of the flight. And nothing can beat a little pot of haagen -Dazs. That's us made it through the transit security. After them ramsacking both of our bags, we've done it, and we're now heading for a quick pit stop at the pier lounge before our next flight. So 
had a slightly narrowly avoided disaster. We've both got our backpacks, which we've had this whole trip, but for the last week we've had an extra bag from the markets in Vietnam, and it may have left it at the security checkpoint. Didn't realise for about 40 minutes in the lounge, and then just as we were needing to go for our final call flight, I realised it. So we ended up having to go all the way back down to the security, and after a little bit of a speed jaunt, we have just about made it to the gate. Happy days. Let's go back to London. Okay, we have made it on board this Cathay Pacific 777 heading over to London. I think it's about 14 and a half hour flight. We do currently still have the middle seat empty, which they told us they would block off. So fingers crossed that it stays like that. And we'll just see what happens. But so far, if it stays like this, it should be a good flight. Let's see how it turns out. It still never gets old the fact that Cathay Pacific gives you silverware cutlery and a menu in economy. A lot of other carriers could be learning from this because it's really good. Let's see what's on the menu tonight. We get a supper, snacks and breakfast. Nice. What have we got? Um, beef pastrami. It's a salad, not a cup of tea. Um, Pork and rice, raised chicken and mash, wok fried plant based mince, ice cream, eggs or noodles for breakfast. Oh, not just eggs, but we've got scrambled eggs, bacon, pork, sausage, and tomato and potatoes. Fantastic. Oh, both even better. <laughs> also available throughout the flight is a Hong Kong egg tart, and there's other items available on request, including cups of noodles and assorted snacks. Probably find my way through all of them. Food sounds good. Hopefully the flight's good. It's very long, but I'm sure it'll go quickly. Let's get home. Right, I was going to do this after takeoff, but before we take off, let's have a quick tour of the seat while the lights are still on and it's nice and bright in here. First up, you notice is the absolutely massive entertainment screen. It's like massive. Let me click that. And it has loads of good films on it, new ones, Indiana Jones, Fast X, loads of other good movies on it that I'm sure I'll watch quite a lot of in the next 15 hours. Then here we have like a little snack and drinks tray. Handy to say if I have a door open the full table, which is in here. It's quite small, but it'll do the job, and it might even be big enough to get a laptop on, but the seat reclined could probably do a little bit of work here. Edit uh, in the next video for the channel, make sure to hit subscribe. They still have a little literature poker with magazine, headphones, don't look very good, but we're in the economy. Obviously we have the extra seat tonight, so we have the underbelly camera on. Decent leg room. Fair recline. And we've even got adjustable edge cushion in the back here. Perfect for sleeping. 15 hours of sleeping. Hopefully, I don't think it'll be as long as that, but even if we could get six, it would cut the journey down quite nicely. We've got two windows here because we're right at the back, we're in the last row as you can see. So we've got two windows, camera set up in that one and this one. Nice big windows here on the 777. And that's pretty much it. We do have a universal power socket right below the seat so we can do some charging throughout the flight, which will be perfectly handy. And yeah, let's take off and then we'll see what the food's like just after takeoff. Once again, straight after takeoff, they were super quick to give us our first meal of this flight.
For our dinner, we both decided on the chicken with mashed potatoes. This came with a starter of roast beef, which was perfect for putting on the nice warm roll, and also a small side of fruit. And again, this meal came with a pot of haagen for dessert. After our meal, it was time to wind down, get comfy and prepare ourselves for the next 13 hours of flying. As this was a nighttime flight, the cabin lights were dimmed pretty quickly after our meal service. The only small complaint I have about Cathay Pacific service is the food trays were left on our tables slightly longer than you would expect, especially considering people were trying to sleep. Seven hours into the flight and a good few hours of broken sleep later, I was awoken by a nice little kick from Amy taking up both the seats left in our row and getting a really good night's sleep. That's the perks of being short. 12 hours into our flight with just over two to go and we were served our second meal of this flight, which was breakfast. Once again, we both opted for the same option which was a cooked breakfast of eggs, tomato, sausage, bacon and potatoes. This again came with a side of fruit, a small yogurt and a nice warm bit of bread. We couldn't complain with a single bit of food we were served on any of the Cathay Pacific flights. They were all really good. And just like that, our 14 hours on this flight and 20 hours total on Cathay Pacific economy was coming to an end. Boom, we have arrived in London after over 14 hours on that plane from Hong Kong. In all honesty to you, Cathay Pacific, I'm going to say it right now, is the best airline I've flown on in the economy. Everything from the staff on the ground, on the plane, the food on the plane, the entertainment and the amenities you get for economy, top class, 10 out of 10. At the end of this video here in London, Make sure to subscribe to the channel and stick around because very soon after a couple of days at home we're heading over to the USA and then down to South America.